Hi everyone, this is Bullet Traders once again. Welcome back to my channel. My only humble request is please stay at home and be safe in this crucial situation. Guys, today's content is based on an interesting debate, Castain versus UCE. If you ask a local mechanic which one is based straight away, you would say Castain. If you ask a local showroom, they would say uh, UCE is far better than a CA. Literally, most of the RE fanboys, those who are crazy on Royal Enfields, had this doubt. In this video, I am going to compare both these machines in terms of engines, specs, engines, lifespan, maintenance cost, mileage, long rate capability, all those stuffs. So don't skip the video in between, watch till the end. Guys, uh, please do subscribe and support my channel. Let's begin without wasting the time before that intro. Royal Enfield is the brand under which the Enfield Cycle Company have manufactured motorcycles, bicycles, lawn mowers and stationary engines. They built their first motorcycle in 1901 and Bullet is the longest lived motorcycle in a design history. Earlier Enfield's engines are cast iron and AVL and now it's an unit construction engine. Cast iron bullets are still very popular and this is the comparison between the cast iron and the unit construction engine. In a cast iron, the engine is a pre-construction unit built up of three parts, the engine, gearbox and the clutch case, all put together and connected to each other independently. Each and every parts of the engine are handmade that produces 18.3 PS of max power at 5625 RPM and 26.9 Nm of max torque at 2875 RPM. Since the engine, gearbox and the clutch is a three independent unit, the engine oil needs to be top up at three different places and there will be a power loss in the transmission. The actual power received at the rear wheel is about 12 bhp roughly. When coming to the UCE mission, the engine is a single unit that puts out 19.1 bhp of max power and 28 Nm of max torque and the actual power received at the rear wheel is 16 bhp roughly. This clearly shows the recent motorcycle has lesser power loss than a CA motorcycle. In terms of transmission, the cast iron comes with a 4-speed gearbox with a right side gear and the brake on the left which is very exactly opposite to the 5-speed UCE machines that makes the cast iron so unique and exceptional. The unique neutral finder in a CI helps to bring the machine to neutral immediately in a single push. In a CI, when the engine is reviving, just 1 litre of oil gets circulated inside the engine for cooling which is quite insufficient that generates some heating issues. Coming to the UCE machines, they are 5-speed gear transmission and 3 litres of oil gets circulated inside the engine so that heating issues gets minimized. Exhaust note, there is no match for the World Bullets legendary thump which is absent on those recent UCE Royal Enfield missions. Lot of classic thrifty users they used to change their stock exhaust for better sound but still that couldn't match the legendary thump of a cast iron. Moreover, changing the stock exhaust in an UCE is not advisable and it will harm your engine if not today, maybe tomorrow or sooner. When talking about the vibrations, the old cast iron engines won't vibrate and it's a sophisticated beast when compared with the vibration levels what we faced in a modern Royal Enfield series. Moving to the tappet comparison, tappets of the old machines gets loosened very often and creates noise which needs a frequent care. If not given any attention for a tappet adjustment, more possibilities for the rocker and tappet valve to get damaged. In UC emissions, it's a hydraulic tappet and no such care is required but practically speaking lot of UC emissions has a tappet noise which should be rectified before damaging the cam wheel shaft and spindle etc and sometimes there is a more chances for the engine to get seized. Mileage. In terms of mileage, UCE are far better than a cast iron. Mileage of a cast iron bullet is around 35-36 kmpl, whereas the new Royal Enfield gives you between 40-45 kmpl. Braking. When coming to the braking, our new machines are best with ABS and all those stuffs, whereas the cast irons are equipped with only drum brakes that leads to poor braking performance. Maintenance. A proper maintenance is required for a new generation Royal Enfield machines. Roughly it would took 1 rupee per kilometer as a maintenance cost and very expensive on major repairs. Moving to the old cast iron, it doesn't require such maintenance but only the frequent care is needed. In UC emissions, a proper attention is needed to loop the chain on regular intervals but in old cast iron machines, it will be self-looped from the breather hose and no separate care is needed. Starting, a CA bullet has a manual decompressor and a starting an old bullet is an art, whereas the modern machine has an auto decompressor and it has an easy starting procedure. 
When talking about the engine build quality, old cast and engines are far superior when compared with new ones. In a CA engine, each and every parts are handmade and rock solid that ensures a longer lifespan. Lot of vintage bullets are still doing great on roads is the proof. When coming to the long range segment, both missions are capable. In old bullets, we won't get the immediate throttle response and the speed should be increased gradually during a long ride in a CA bullet. Most bullet is they used to cruise it at 60 km per hour. We can cruise it even in 80s and 90s but give some 5-10 minutes break in between for the engine to relax. Old bullet is a sophisticated beast. You will feel fresh at the end of a ride as you just started from home. In a new mission, we get a sudden pickup and we can ride it hard and hit some top speeds but won't get that sophisticated feel. Generally bullets are not a power conversion bikes like KTMs and other sports bikes whatsoever. It's a motorcycle to feel alright. Old bullets are the real bullets whereas the modern machines are not a bullet and it's just a replica. Bullet is those who experienced a CA won't switch over to this modern machine. Guys those who have a passion for a bullet then go for a CA. And guys those who ride a 100 and 150cc segment bikes and having craze on Royal Enfield can go for this modern Royal Enfield missions.